How are we going to go about training our employees? How do we know who needs what training and in what forms and at what point? How do we determine whether or not the employee is ready and willing to participate in training? Finally, how do we know that the training was effective? Let's take a look at the steps in the training process. In order to answer these questions, we have to plan our training process very carefully. We need to take a look at what's currently going on in the organization and how that differs from what needs to happen in the future to accomplish our strategic business goals. So training and development are another set of strategic HRM tasks. Once we do this, we can analyze the types of training that will be necessary to build new knowledge, skills, and abilities of our workforce. This course is designed to follow five steps in the training process as you see here. Let's take a look at how we go through this training process. Step one, assessing needs. We conduct a needs assessment to determine what training is necessary to improve performance. Step two, selecting how to shape behavior with training methods. We select a method of shaping employee behavior based on learning theories so that we can change employee behavior to improve performance. Step three, designing training. We design training and development based on the needs assessment. We must determine which training methods we will use to shape employee behavior. Step four, delivering training. Before we actually conduct the training and development, we must select the delivery method. Step five, assessing training. After we complete the training, our last step is to assess how effective the training was at developing the needed skills. We do this by determining our success at shaping behavior. If the assessment of the training reveals that the behavior has not shaped or changed as needed, we may need to go back to step one and start the training process again.